Hello YouTube, bald man building an airplane here. Uh, welcome back to the, the uh, channel. Yeah, that's it, the channel. Um, this is Fuselage Chapter 26, video number two. Um, this is uh, more prep work, and I'm seeing a reasonable amount of parts that are, I think, punched. Some of them are laser cut. Um, I hope some of them are punched. Um, yeah, the one I got in my hand right there is not. That was cut. Laser cut, anyway. Um, yeah, these are the... This is parts prep for mostly the, um, the pieces that do the... Um, Oh no! This is this is continuation from the last one. We're we're doing a lot of the prep work on the ribs and the sort of uh, seat and backward um, portions of the substructure of the fuselage. Um, a lot of the little pieces are just like clips for wires to go in. Um, the square pieces I was just working on there are like. Um, the crotch seatbelt holders, the big, the like pieces of eight, or yeah, the eight sort of uh, long ovalish pieces were like seatbelt attach brackets. Um, there's some, I think right in front of the camera there are actually some of the um, uh, side step attach but doublers and stuff because um uh so there's something interesting uh to talk about not interesting but uh it's a, it's a choice right when you make one of these airplanes uh so this this is going to be the tail dra tail dragger variant and um when you have the tail dragger you don't necessarily need steps to step up on to the wing um but it's still a rather large airplane um, getting into it at Oshkosh like I can see myself getting into it without the step but can I see myself in 20 years getting into it without the step maybe can I see myself in 30 years getting into it without the step maybe maybe not do I want to take that chance nah I'll just put a side step on it so uh, when you when you put the steps in, you have to cut a hole. Um, actually, the hole might already be yeah, the hole's already there in the bottom skin. Um, but you have to add some doublers and some additional structure to the baggage area where the steps go in. Um, it looks like I don't have a lot of video of those pieces yet in this one since we're prepping for it. Um, but suffice it to say, there are probably four or five additional parts. Um, that includes the step itself on either side uh, to reinforce the baggage ribs area um, and and to, to like hold the weight of a human as they stand on the step and get into the plane. So, yeah, those are definitely part of this. Yeah, so that's the seatbelt crotch attach that I'm working on right there. This is all the just standard. You've seen it a hundred times if you've watched any of my videos with the prep work in the beginning of a chapter. It's just all clean up the edges, deburr, maybe file a little bit, but you know, it's all the same thing. Those are the seatbelt brackets right there that I'm deburring the holes on. And then um, these are just. Yeah, those are just clips that get uh, a snap bushing that goes inside of them so wire can pass through. It's all pretty boring stuff. Those triangle pieces were seat belt attached, where the seat belt's attached to these ribs that we're getting ready, and that's this is the the flat part is the like outside doubler for the um, the baggage ribs where the step goes. So that's pretty much it for this one. This is all just prep. Uh, some of these parts are gonna end up in the bin. Some of them I'm actually going to attempt to use, even though they are laser cut. 
Uh, so, they're baggage ribs. They're not going to be any problem. I'll notice right away if, well, not right away, but I'll notice on annual if one, one of the rivets starts smoking or something. So, that's it for this one. Uh, we'll see you along for the next one. Catch you later.